Jesus was more than a master carpenter. He was also God incognito. 34 distinct miracles are recorded in the Gospels, but John's Gospel spotlights seven miracles. It's those miracles that we're going to explore during this study. Each of the seven miracles that we study reveals a unique dimension of God's power and glory. For three decades, he kept his miraculous powers secret. But that changed the day water blushed in the face of its creator. Turning water into wine, it was Jesus revealing his authority over every atom in the universe. The second miracle, Jesus relieves a dangerously high fever from 20 miles away. It shows off his macroscopic mastery of time and space. The invalid was already past his prime. In fact, you could say he was living on borrowed time. And I wonder if that's why Jesus singled him out. Andrew figures that five loaves and two fish will feed about seven people. It doesn't add up. If you put what you have into God's hands, he can make a lot out of a little. Most miracles don't happen within sight of the shoreline. You have to venture into uncharted waters. If you follow Jesus long enough and far enough, you'll eventually walk on water. So Jesus did more than just heal his blind eyes. He restored his dignity by rebuking helplessness. When we posture ourselves in humility and give honor to God, it positions us for the miraculous. There is no abracadabra. Jesus is not just the winemaker or the water walker. Jesus is the grave robber, and he saves his boldest claim for last. The grave robber steals back what the enemy has stolen. He will make the impossible possible.